going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined today. Uh, we are going to be doing a uh, great interview with Stacy here. Um, you can't see her yet next to me, but you will be seeing her in a minute. One of our guest hosts. And, um, you know, I'm going to just get right into this because I know we have a lot of good things to talk about with Stacy. Mm -hmm. uh, please remember to call our prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. Mm -hmm. You're anonymous. And God is doing great things on that prayer line. Every time mm -hmm. somebody calls and tells me something, you know, I really need to just start sharing them all the time and uh, because I'm, I'm really bad about doing that. But, wow, some great things happen on those prayer lines. And it really does help me and the girls know that, wow, we're making a difference. If we didn't have any of that feedback, you, you wouldn't know unless somebody comes up to you like the gal in the wheelchair and you mm -hmm. know stuff like that and tells us that we got healed watching your program or you know things like that and we've gotten you know letters and and uh, emails telling you know one lady had an issue of blood for um, 18 or 20 years and she said as soon as I prayed for her on the prayer line that blood stopped and so uh, and she said for 20 years it didn't stop could you imagine that yeah. and then God used God's view prayer line to heal, instantly stop it. So then she called back and said, hey, I want, I'm getting my lungs too. Should I have problems with my lungs? <laughs> you know? uh, Why just pray for that? Because sure. you know, God wants to heal everything. Yeah. Amen. And, and mm -hmm. he wants to set you free. He wants mm -hmm. to heal relationships. He wants to uh, give you breakthrough in finances and, and just pain, emotions, anything. So you're anonymous, so call and get agreement. I'm Charlene back to Mary, your God's view host. So glad you joined us. Get your favorite drink. Just join us. Like, like you're sitting right here with us okay because mm -hmm. we love it and then mm -hmm. Stacy White which we are going to be interviewing and thank you so much for yes. coming in and filling in again and Priscilla yep <laughs> Priscilla Pruitt <laughs> we've been on for eight years but yeah, I'm like, <laughs> who am I <laughs> who is she and then Lonnie Gardner we all <laughs> so thrilled you joined us so we're going to be talking to Stacy today and there's so many important things she's got to say. And there's things that we go through in life, mm -hmm. and especially as leaders. And, and many people sometimes don't understand, unless you've been in, and I, wanna, I just want to give this kind of like a little disclaimer before we start. Unless you've been in a church and in a leadership role and close to leadership, especially in a large church, mm -hmm. it's so foreign to you. When somebody like us starts speaking of the stuff that goes on, uh, sometimes it sounds judgmental. Sometimes it sounds like, oh, that's crazy. That's way out there. That, that, that would never happen. Believe me, trust me, it happens. And, um, and what we do is we try to bring it forth so that, number one, whoever is going through it, mm -hmm can know that you're not alone. You're not the crazy one when they tell you you're the rebellious one, you're not submitted, you're not committed, uh, and, and you just controlled, and, and, and it's not you. It's not you, okay? Not every leader is a good leader. Right. There's a lot of, you know, hidden things, and we got a lot of extraordinary leaders. Listen, we don't ever want to put anybody down uh, to where, you know, it looks like everybody in the world just a mess. Well, there is a lot, there is a big mess, but listen, there's some good stuff because God's good and it's the goodness of God that brings people to repentance. Right. And, and, and we're not just slandering or talking about anybody. We're not just talking about just pastors. We're just talking about things in general uh, when people are into your life that are leaders, that are leaders and, and other things and husbands. Yes. And, yes. and that, that just have not done right, uh, ha have not lived right before the Lord. Uh, yet pretense, and isn't it, isn't it, and you may touch on this, isn't it bizarre, and, and you've, you've dealt with this too, um, that it's, it's, it's never their fault. No. It's always, yeah. we're always yeah. the problem. We're always yeah. like, you know, whether it's in a, a, a marriage or, yeah. or like in a leadership mm -hmm. role like that, and say, <clears throat> say even you want to go in something like that, it's like, why does it have to be bad when God's just moving you on? Right. Why does it have to be bad? It's a good right. thing. Right. It's a great thing, right. you know? Yes. And we love those people. We bless those people. Mm -hmm. 
And yeah. even in marriages, when you yes. move on, you I, I know in your you talk to your well, you know, not not this one because that was a cruel thing, but I mean you talk to them and they're the mm -hmm. father of your children and mm -hmm. and so, you know, you, 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 you try to leave like an adult. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. You yeah. should. And you should. Yeah. yeah. We should handle things that way. But I don't even know where we're going. I just felt led to say all that. So That was good. Well, I don't that know. Was, where, yeah. That was the Holy Spirit. It's okay. really good. Yeah, there's a lot to, to talk on this subject. And we're doing two, two shows. So this is number one. So make sure you watch mm -hmm. part two. Okay. And uh, yeah. so what, what, what's the Lord got on your heart? I mean, just... Well, the Lord has been revealing deception to me deception in in the church in the body of christ mm. and and it's it's in marriage it's but it's infiltrating into the ministry mm -hmm. and it's affecting people in so many levels so many ways and um there there's the lord is and we know we've been seeing this in the news the lord is exposing things that are hidden things that are done in the dark He's bringing everything to the light because he's cleansing his church. Yes. He's purging his church yeah. and he's making us ready. Mm -hmm. And that means that we need to be refined and processed. We need to be corrected. And he's bringing that correction. And that's every one of us, like you loves. said, on every level. Yes. We're not just talking about somewhere up here. That's We're right. talking about every level, that's us right. as laymen, mm -hmm. us as leaders. Mm -hmm. On every level, God is cleansing yes. his church. None of us are perfect. That's right. And things are coming mm -hmm. that the Bible. are darker. Uh -huh. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we know that things are coming that are darker, mm -hmm. but his glory is going to shine yes. through us. But he wants us to mm -hmm. shine with his glory. Mm -hmm. And, and, there's so many people that are lost, but we've got to be ready for that. We have to be ready for the harvest. Mm -hmm. I agree. And there's such a huge harvest, and the laborers are few. But the enemy, what is, we know we have an enemy, and he's trying to come against the laborers. He's mm -hmm. trying to come against the leaders, the fivefold ministry, and those that are attending churches, that are attending Bible studies. Mm -hmm. They're new Christians. They're they're walking their walk out the best way that they know how. So we have an enemy. And he doesn't stop, so we can't stop. Mm -hmm. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't quit. We can't. So we, you know, we have to put on our full armor, the full armor of Christ, mm -hmm. always keep it on. So there's so many things that the Lord wants me to say, and it's just going to flow. I know it is. Um, but in the, in the leadership especially, those that are new in Christ, those that are that are the innocent ones, mm -hmm. you know, the Bible talks about suffer the children to come unto me, and you know, there's there's um, I've got so many things written down that the Lord gave me from months ago, but but you know, it's better to tie a millstone around your neck, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, than 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 touch them, and 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 when you're you're hearing the scripture about innocence, what that really is saying is is. It's not just babies and children's, but it's children's, listen to me. But it's the innocent. It's new Christians, babies yes. in Christ. Oh, yeah. Babies in Christ. That's babes good. on the yeah. milk. And it's those that are innocent that don't know better. Right. Yeah. They don't they know any better. Because they're easily manipulated. Exactly. They're easily persuaded they're and learning. misswaded. Yeah. Yes. So we've got so many people. There's children, which they're mm -hmm. innocent, right? Mm -hmm. they're, de they're depending on, first of all, the parents. There's the teachers. There's the Sunday school teachers if they go to Sunday school right. or whatever. And so we've got, we've got the children. But really, we're, Jesus said, come to me as a child with childlike faith. And that is so important that we have that childlike faith, mm -hmm. that we know him and we're safe mm -hmm. and we're loved by him. He loves us. He's not going to harm us. No. He's, he's our shepherd and we're the right. sheep. Yeah. So we're to protect these, these young ones, these innocent ones. But there are shepherds out there, wolves in sheep's clothing, mm -hmm. and the enemy has gotten to them. And this is there's so many things the Lord wants me to say, but one thing is that is that when you believe the lie, any mm -hmm. lie of the enemy, mm -hmm. once you believe it, you hear it, you yeah. believe it. You know, we, we, have, we have our soul. You know, the soul is our mind, will, and emotions. So when we believe the lie, and we know that we're going to constantly have those thoughts and the enemy whispering, but when we believe the lie, 
and we agree with the lie, we hook up with the enemy, we have become deceived. Mm -hmm. Well, and Stacy, answer me this. Do you think, because you said something real powerful about it's just not little baby children like we're mm -hmm. talking about sex trafficking or mm -hmm. something. It's babies in Christ. Yes. Yeah. And so, yes. so, you know, I just was getting this big video on my thing. So yeah. this is why it's even, it's more pharmaceutical and Sadducee when you have this baby Christian has grown up under deception, yeah. mm -hmm. under a, that some of these pastors we didn't know for yeah. 30, 40 years right. of some of the horrible things that, that, that come right. out. Right. And so that baby Christian was, so now yeah. they've got even more right. to, to break off this yes. religion and yes. this yes. all of this stuff that yes. you're talking about because, wow, this really puts, mm -hmm. shines a light on it, this situation. It yeah. really does. Uh, because it really does. that's why we have this generation right now that's slanted and sideways because yes. even yes. in the church they can do whatever they want because they're raised in this false thing. Right. This woke right. Christianity. This, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. oh wow, wow, right. this is so good. And the yeah. enemy was oh. a, was the deceiver from the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Full of mm -hmm. pride. Yeah. 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 So he's been doing this for so many years. He has the same tactics. Uh -huh. Nothing's the new. The same mm -hmm. thing. Wow. Nothing's new under the sun. Right. Yeah. But what he's doing is he's stepping up his attacks yes. in these days, these last days. And he's, he's infiltrating stepping it up. our churches. That's right. He's using, like you said, the wolves and cheese right. yeah. clothing. Right. And through witchcraft, the mm -hmm. religious spirits. And what is, mm -hmm. and, and what do the religious spirits do? They stop the anointing. That's yeah. right. They shut you up. Mm -hmm. They shut you up. Shh. That's right. That's what the religious spirit sounds like. Mm -hmm. Shh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Don't be, don't be flowing in the spirit. Don't mm -hmm. be doing the altar calls. and. And, you know, we're just going to do the traditions of men. Yeah, and let's we're take the Holy Spirit this. out of this and change. Right. This is scary stuff. That's right. We don't, want, we don't want to offend anybody. That's right. right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. And that's happening. Wow. <coughs> that's happening boat. across the board. Uh -huh. I mean, this we are in the end times. Yeah. We are. And and so we're, we're seeing more deception now. Yes. We're seeing more of these spirits uh -huh. that are... That are um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to use acceleration. But there's more attacks, but they're they're really they know that their days are short. Yes, yeah, so they're mm -hmm. so they're really mm -hmm. stepping it up. Oh yeah. Oh and yeah. So is the glory. So but yeah. you know, and I know uh, exactly what you're talking about in a way. Like I know a church that I've known for years, a big church, and now I mean they all used to believe in praying in the spirit and and the prayer warriors and everybody could, yeah. and now they can do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. They cannot do it anymore. Yep. Because it yeah. may hurt somebody or offend somebody. Because they, they want to be right. seeker friendly. Because right. it says in the Bible, Christian. times are for the unbeliever. Not, right. Not for the believer. Right. Right. So you shut that stuff down. You shut right. down the Holy Ghost. That's right. And so mm -hmm. I know we're, we're seeing When this. instead yes. they should have someone interpret the tongues. Yes. Which is what the Word of God says. It doesn't yes. say to take away the tongues. I know. No, right. that is one of the signs of it's the Holy just, Spirit. You don't crazy. shut up the Holy Spirit. You don't yeah. cover it. It's crazy. Uh, but the deception yeah. you're talking about, and this is what Stacy opened up with, and it's a powerful word because we see that, like she said, on every level right mm -hmm. now in the Bride of Christ, in the church. Yes. And that's why we have to have our armor on. We have to be prayed up. We have to be privy yes. to the Spirit. We have to listen to the Holy Ghost yes. and know where we're supposed to be, when, at the right time, who we're with, who's around us. Uh, discern discern yes. is, big. is a big thing. And mm -hmm. boy, I, I, I mm -hmm. decree discernment every yes. day. Yes. And what yes. I do is I say, thank you, Lord, that we have the gift of discernment that's in operation at all times. Mm -hmm. And Andy, Haley, Tegan, Bryce, and myself and your bride handling it yes. according to your yes. word. I decree that for you over us because discernment is the key oh. is what she's saying oh. you cannot get out of deception yep. and you cannot right. not believe because what 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 religion does or somebody that's out of order in in a pulpit even you may be sitting under somebody mm -hmm. like that right now what mm -hmm. they will always do project mm -hmm. and they'll always preach on the worst they'll, they'll always slam this one subject because that's what they're yep. dealing with, and that's, that's right. what they're yes. doing. So you can always, always know when they start, you know, making you feel like you're walking on eggshells, or you're doing something wrong, or you weren't committed or submitted. You don't go to church enough. Or, or this is what I used yeah. to hear: Oh, mm -hmm. the faithful ones come on Wednesday nights. Mm 
Yes. So what did that make you feel like? Yes. You're unfaithful. Yeah. It made the right. ones that didn't right. come sitting wow. in that congregation. That's condemning. Yeah. yeah. Condemning. But that's, you know what that is? them feel bad. Manipulation. I was going to yes. say that And that too. is the number one thing I am seeing that's from right. the pulpits is a spirit of manipulation, that's which right. is witchcraft, which that's is that right. python spirit that we talked yes. about that's before. That's right. Because manipulation is witchcraft. And let yes. us say to you that are mm -mm. that are healthy pastors and, and bringing we love it you. and, and we blessing your congregation, we are so grateful and we are for you and we are praying for you yes and we're praying for these others too yes we are but right. this is things that people will not bring and talk about right. on this show we will bring those oh, things to you, you. That's right. because you gotta you gotta face hard issues you gotta face suicide yes. you gotta face these uh, python spirits you gotta face That's deception right. and all of this yes. manipulation and yes. all of these things we will not back down from that mm -hmm. here uh, because there's mm -hmm. today maybe one word that we said turned on the lights and really helped you because there's so many of you broken out there because you have sat under this and you feel bad you feel like you've done something wrong right. you feel That's like oh my do. god they make you feel like you're the one you've given all your money you've given all your time you painted the house when your house needed painted you've submitted committed and did everything you could know to do right and it still isn't enough That's listen right. been there done it yes and so you know and I know there's many of you listening that are going through that just know God loves Loves you God loves them he will get you out of that situation but you've got to do it faith without works are dead you can sit yes. under that you can stay and let them mm -hmm. say you know to you you're the bad one you're not good blah 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 yes. you know I had I had mm -hmm. uh, a pastor one time that said to me um, and I, I and, and I'm not I'm not coming against him or I'm not mad at him or anything but you know because I was young in the Lord and you know I could have been a wild child curtain climber you know and they because they had to calm me down after but but i can't stay in a church that's like because i'm just too wild i'm too you know i'm one of those yeah. flag flowers and dancers yeah. and but i said one time to him i said you know because i wanted to make sure that i was okay and i said you know sometimes not even know what i was saying then i feel like a thumb sometimes in the midst of this mm -hmm. congregation because i'm an apostle yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. He says, oh, well, if I were you, I'd find another church after all I did. <gasps> yeah. After oh. all I did. So I know. Mm -hmm. I know what mm -hmm. you're going through. And, and yeah. sometimes it's their ignorance. Because pastors don't know everything. I mean, they're yeah. learning and growing, too. Yeah. Leaders don't know everything. And, of course, we've got to yeah. give them grace. But what yeah. we're talking about right now is the ones that are hidden and the darkness is going to come to light. We're talking about That's the right. deceiver. We're talking That's about the right. one that you started out with wolf and sheep clothing you started out with deception mm -hmm. uh, and all that kind of stuff yeah. so we're you, we just got to mm -hmm. keep bringing everything into line because if you just tuned in for a second and you think we're just slamming pastors and we're just no you have to you have to get the whole just yes. and we only have 28 minutes mm -hmm. to bring that to you right yeah so you so were we, in this church service yes yeah, in this church congregation yeah. and you yeah. were ministering as well yes yes i was and 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 there's there's um yeah, there was something I was going to touch on earlier before your question, but but yeah, I was. Um, you had convictions, though. You knew something was going on. You had oh, the Holy yeah. Spirit. Oh yeah, she had discernment. Yes, oh, yeah. she knew. Yeah, but oh, yeah. she was just Tell waiting us. for God to speak. Right? That's the key. Is yeah. discernment right now? Is Proverbs says to cry out for it. Mm -hmm. We've got to cry yeah, out I for it. We've got to hunger for the word, for knowledge, wisdom, understanding, right. and discernment. And so I was picking up on some things uh -huh. and and so I had you know been there in a terrible time of my life and so I was vulnerable right I was vulnerable I was hungry like for more of the Lord mm -hmm. and the Lord was bringing me out of another church where I had been there for I guess 21 years mm -hmm. quite a long time and I was in ministry wow. in that mm -hmm. in that place with my former husband we were both leaders so so I, I came out of that after some trauma. So I, I was needing some healing, mm -hmm. but I also was hungry for God because it was already in me. It was already already right. there. So I was just so drawn mm. to the fire of God and, and wow. hungry for his presence and to even break free, to be free, to not be bound anymore. Some mm -hmm. things I was bound in. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, us vulnerable ones, you know, where we're wounded, mm -hmm. traumatized or whatever, we're walking Ooh. stuff out. You can go into this new ministry, and it was a ministry, not a church. And, you know, I'm going in there, and I'm like, freedom, freedom. 
this is a new season. This is, um, you know, you're in the wilderness and you're healing, trying to heal, going through a storm. It was a really bad raging storm. And God uses everything. He mm -hmm. does. He, he does. Yeah. And he uses everything for every single one of us, whatever we're going through. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, immediately, um, you know, I was learning, growing, and just coming out of the box, so to speak, which was a good thing. But, but then I was picking up on some things. And I was learning, even in 2020, some things the Lord was showing me and speaking to me. And, um, and so the Lord was using me there, even in the pulpit. So if he wasn't able, I was always the one in the pulpit. And then I was the women's pastor. So I was, the, I was the one that he called on. And it was a blessing for me because I was growing. You were growing, yeah. I was stepping of out of <coughs> my box yeah. where I was shy. I didn't want to be in the limelight. I never do. And here I am sitting here with, with you ladies. <laughs> I never wanted this. God's I never good. wanted to be in the pulpit and yeah. preaching. But the Lord showed me many years ago. And I'm like, why do I see myself preaching? Why? Why, Lord, why? But the Lord puts those desires in your heart. Oh, absolutely. So there's a plan right. for, all of, mm -hmm. for all of us. There's a plan. He has a destiny for us. And so he's planting that, and he puts us where we're supposed to be for a time. Even if it's something bad, mm -hmm. he uses, uses it everything. so we learn from it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is where we're going with that, is, mm -hmm. is even in the previous church, even in the churches I was there years ago, even Charlene and I many years yeah, ago. in the same church. And yeah. we were in the same church as three together, I think, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we're learning from those things, it, being in leadership mm -hmm. or you're stepping out and then you're, you're kind of getting attacked a bit because you're stepping out, especially being a woman, mm -hmm. really. Did so, you find that whenever you brought things to light or whenever you uh, brought correction the godly way, the way the Lord says to do it in the Word of God, that you were getting pushed back or oh, getting yeah. manipulated? What did you oh, see? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw That's that. That's a no-no. I saw that. <laughs> Even, here's the thing about love. In the previous church, I did have some, some folks that would say some things against me because the Lord has created every single one of us with gifts and talents and abilities and how to be used by God. Mm -hmm. Some don't understand them. That's right. So, so, so some of us are more bold than others. We have this righteous boldness. Mm -hmm. We are lovers of truth and we speak the truth. I know, and I <laughs> know you. you're that way, and I know you're that way, and I'm that way. Yeah. And so we come across strong, we're strong women. Right. We're strong mm -hmm. women of God because we stand up for the truth and righteousness, mm -hmm. and we see it. We see the deception. We see the lies. We don't like it. We see that something is not in the Word and of God. It's not the truth, yes. and we're a voice. We won't shut up. That's exactly. Right. And it's hard for the person, yes. especially if it's a love walk. Oh, you shouldn't say that. That's right. You're yes. coming against God's That's anointed. right. And or, or they shifted. label you. They label you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's right. Your label. I was corrected, and I was on staff at the other church, and doing like four different ministries and things like that. But I, I just put things on Facebook, and I was exposing, ba you know, Baphomet and all this, and mm -hmm. I was corrected that that's not love, Stacy. That's not love. That you didn't say exposing that. Exposing the enemies, not and love. She, and and she, I will just say it's a she, wanted to have a talk with me, a dialogue with me. Yeah, I, I um, had many of those. So, things. yeah, I've had those. It didn't so, stop me. Didn't, yeah. Here I sit. I didn't back you. down. I didn't back down. No, you can't. Because I, and I told this person, I said, I said, I obey the Lord, and the Lord had me put that up, and the Lord had me say what I said, and I always pray first. Because I'm going to let them know. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't personally against them. That's right. It was just a, to everybody was, on Facebook. It, everybody on Facebook was a, yeah. uh, uh, talking about a spirit. Yeah, yeah, this is what's going on, and this is this this movie that's coming out. So, anyways, we're going to have that, and I know we don't have a lot of time, but but um, you know, it's interesting and how even too. the Python spirit deception, how these things are intertwining. And I want to talk about open doors and trauma too, because that is where this stuff comes in, even with the Python spirit yeah. and uh -huh. even familiar spirits, the Jezebel spirit. There's so many yes. things that they come in Which is something that trauma. used to label During women as strong women. Yes, yes. And, 
that is that's what's going on is is you are a Jezebel spirit if you're strong in the Lord <laughs> if you if you say they use that as a form of, truth, of manipulation and can I tell it, it to shut I you tell up. you right now it appalls me when I get called to Jezebel and you know why because Jezebel hated God that's yeah right. I she know. hated God I don't hate God there's so many no. women out there that are getting called Jezebel because they're strong yes because they're they, yes. they're bold and they love God I mean yeah. Jezebel hated God. That's they need right. to quit this. Oh sure, gosh. she had some right. manipulation. It's she had some things in there. Women that but they are using it to manipulate us. Uh, whoever exactly. they're calling it, Jezebel. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And usually, like you said, whatever they're calling out and speaking is projecting. actually what they're projecting from your eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's true. correct. Mm -hmm. That is so correct. And and that's that is it shows the condition of the heart and where they are. Mm -hmm. And and those of yep. us who. The Lord has shown that are wise in the Lord that we're discerning. We know what's going on, and we want to help the person. We want to speak to right. it. So when we do speak to it, you're going to get the backlash. Oh yeah, you won't get it. You always it. get the backlash. Mm -hmm. Been there, you know? done that. What did God give you about the Python spirit that's been infiltrating the church that you've? Yeah, there's there's um, there's a few things that I that I wrote down that the Lord gave I know me. Time is short, but uh, yeah, and I'm going to try to say and it really we can, quick. And we can go in, into. The next More. show, we can start with the Python spirit or whatever. Yeah. Because I know he's going to hold up that two minutes. But what would you say right now yes. before we bring people to the Lord here in a minute? Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, there are so many that are there are so many people that are vulnerable right now, and they don't know where That's to true. attend. They don't know who to trust right now. Mm -hmm. They don't know. There's so many pastors falling right now in the fivefold ministry, mm -hmm. and they don't know where to attend. They don't know who to trust, and who they really need to be trusting is the Lord. They need to be in the Word of God. It matter what anybody they does. need to be in the Word. The Word of God is is life, and it's His Spirit. And it's wisdom, and the Holy Spirit is our teacher, and I'll end there. Yes, that's great. And hey, we're going to have show two, so we can talk a little bit more about this. I know um, many of you are leaping in your spirit right now that have went through some of this. And we call it trauma because it's very traumatizing when you're growing up in a church and, and you look at a leader like a real mom or dad, or like when you're a baby, you know, they love you and they guide you and and maybe some of you have went through some of the things we're talking about well God's got a good plan for you still and he, he just wants everybody in the whole situation blessed because not everybody does everything right and <clears throat> and you may have had a leader that was just immature <clears throat> not a wolf you know so th that's another discernment you discern because you don't want to start calling your leader a wolf when they were just trying to, you know, because there's a, there's a lot in this mix. Yeah. <clears throat> but listen, if you don't know Jesus, this is, we've got to get you to Jesus. you got to call on his name. Mm -hmm. And you yes. may not even be able to say the prayer and say, Jesus, forgive me, come into my life, be the Lord of my life. I need you. I'm going to go to heaven eternally because you're so broken. But God knows what we say before we speak it. And in That's your right. heart, you yes. may be crying out to the living God and he'll come in and he'll save you. He'll change your world. If you just call upon the name of Jesus and then ask Jesus to baptize you with the Holy Spirit with fire. Oh my God, it'll give your heavenly prayer language, your 911 to God. It's amazing. It's amazing. And so, um, God, oops, excuse me, things falling over here. If you did that today, please call the prayer lines 307 637 pray. That's 7729. Or tell somebody, all heaven's rejoicing when one sinner comes to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Ooh, go to our website, godsviewtvshows.com. God's got a view. God does have a view personally for you. Yes. Love you. It's only goodbye for today. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ.